Hello, my name is Uday Gokaran. I am a product manager with Nexus 1000V team in Cisco Systems. In this video, I will be introducing our new vCenter plugin for Nexus 1000V. This vCenter plugin will be available with 2.1 release of Nexus 1000V, which is expected in Q4 CY12. The vCenter plugin is a really a simple way for the administrator to gain visibility into the virtual networking aspects. The plugin helps provide the essential information pertaining to the virtual network so that the administrator can root cause issues and prevent them. The plugin also helps the admin to deploy VMs with the best suited policies to optimize resources in the data center. It uses the vCenter GUI interface so integrating the app in your data center will be seamless. We will do a quick overview of the Nexus 1000V and then talk about the vCenter plugin in more detail followed by a resources for additional information. Nexus 1000V is a distributed virtual switch for the virtualized and cloud environments. Why deploy Nexus 1000V? Because it's a foundational element, effectively a platform for multi-hypervisor, multi-service and multi-cloud environment. Plus, it provides unique benefits. Nexus consistency across physical and virtual, respect for segregation of duties, including a pre-tested solution blueprints and supported worldwide by Cisco TAR. It is the first switch to support virtual services integration through vPath and support for VXLAN network overlay. Virtual services support includes VSG for zone-based firewall, ASA 1000V for tenant edge firewall, virtual VAS for WAN optimization and NAM on 1010 for visibility and monitoring. Nexus 1000V fully supports latest vSphere 5.1 release and the upcoming Nexus 1KV release 2.1 will support vCloud Director 5.1 release as well. The Nexus 1000V comes in two editions in version 2.1. The first is a no-cost version which is called the Essential Edition. The Advanced Edition will be priced at 695 per CPU MSRP which is the same as the existing 1.x release. In your data center network with the vCenter plugin installed seamlessly into the environment that has VSM and WEM. The vCenter plugin will provide vital information on data center network by polling the VSM and WEMs. The vCenter plugin provides information on the data center networking at two different levels. That is the host view tied to the VSM level and the switch view tied at the WEM level. In addition, the plugin also provides a dashboard view. In the dashboard view, besides other global information pieces, you will be able to see scalability and license information. You will be able to view utilization of resources in your network, thereby providing operational efficiency. Also, you will be effectively able to monitor the usage of licenses, which helps in resource allocation. The host view provides you with a list of hosts running WEMS in your network and also provides a list of all the virtual network interfaces in each of these hosts. The switch view provides you a view from a switch level with a list of the virtual interface, network interface cards and their corresponding port group association. This view will provide you a holistic view of the network from a switch perspective. In summary, the vCenter plugin provides you a holistic view of the network in order to help you better manage the license utilization and mo monitor your network topology. It greatly improves operational efficiency and provides a means of effectively utilizing your network resources. This plugin simplifies your data center network by providing a tool to easily monitor the virtual network. This plugin will be available in Nexus 1000V release 2.1 which will be ready in Q4 CY12. These are the resources available to you. This plugin will be available in the Nexus 1000V release 2.1 which will be ready in Q4 CY12. To learn more about these new features of release 2.1, please see the Cisco data center blogs. Thank you for watching.